In 2002, Kanye West, known at the time mostly for his contributions to hip hop as a producer, recorded Through the Wire. He wrapped it just a few weeks after his infamous car accident while his jaw was completely wired shut. It's not crisp and clear. Not many artists would record their debut single in that condition, but Kanye did. And that decision illustrates something very, very unique about his work. Kanye West almost considers the best, ideal, most greatest instrument ever to be the human voice. Now, a traditional hip hop track consists of an instrumental beat and a vocal. What makes Kanye such an innovative producer is how he's never really limited a vocal performance to just singing or rapping. He's filled every single nook and cranny of his music with the human voice, and it's always pushed hip hop forward. Kanye's debut album, The College Dropout, was released in 2004. It's an hour and 16 minutes, 21 tracks. It's literally jam-packed with music. And one of the standout tracks on that album is Jesus Walks. It won him a Grammy, and it got him a BET nomination for Best Gospel Artist. His use of the gospel song Walk With Me by the ARC Choir fills the entire song to the brim with vocal samples. They become the bass line, the percussion, and the melody. And it's even layered over more vocal samples, like this military drill sergeant. And that exotic flute sound? It's actually John Legend's voice. Kanye layers vocals like choirs a lot. He does it throughout late registration on songs like Hey Mama, Celebration, and Crack Music. On these tracks, he's not really manipulating the vocals at all. On the final track, you're hearing a recognizable human voice. But on his next album, Graduation, a very synth and electronic-driven record, Kanye starts doing something different. So he chose synthesizers that sound like vocals. But it's important because the orientation, the orbit here is still around the voice. You can hear that very clearly on Good Life featuring T-Pain, especially in the first couple of seconds. And even more so on 808s and Heartbreak. Kanye doesn't have a great voice, even he'll admit that. But he sings in nearly every song on 808s, and sometimes he sings the entire song, of course with the help of autotune. He does this especially well on the opening track, Say You Will, where that booming 808 drum alternates in your left and right ear, while synthy vocals fill the space like a choir. Now, seven years after he released that track, he chose to re-release it. But instead of that synthy instrumentation, he enlisted Caroline Shaw to record a cappella. Shaw is the youngest person to win a Pulitzer Prize in music, and she's known especially for how she composes vocals. West was the single producer on all 21 tracks of the college dropout. But by 808s, he's starting to curate really top talent to help him push hip hop forward. According to Pitchfork, it really marked the birth and flowering of West's creative CEO method of album making. Now, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is eight songs shorter than The College Dropout, but it runs nearly as long. And it really stands out because it's the first time where Kanye turned the conventional structure of a rap song completely on its head. A great example of this is the song Runaway. At nine minutes, it's far longer than any normal hip hop track. And five minutes and 45 seconds in, Kanye really pushes into new territory with a really interesting counter melody. 
Now, the first thing you hear is that solo piano melody introduced at the very beginning of the song. It's super, super memorable. And then you hear Kanye's voice. But it's processed through a vocoder to sound like a distorted guitar. Now, he could have easily disguised that vocal completely, but instead, he chose to reveal that it was his voice by seemingly testing it out before diving into the counter melody. According to Rolling Stone, there's no way it should work, but it keeps rolling for three more minutes without breaking a spell. That outro is longer than most rap songs. If My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy was Kanye's maximalist perfect album, then Yeezus is bare bones minimalism. It's Kanye deconstructed. Everything that Kanye was known for up to that point, pitched up vocals, auto-tune, choir samples, layered voices, they're all here. But they're spliced into songs without much decoration or orchestration. For instance, take a listen to this pivot on New Slaves. Or the transition from a sample to a vocal on Bound 2. Jerome's in the house, watch your mouth. Who are these blown out layered vocals from Justin Vernon on Hold My Liquor? Now, Ultralight Bean from 2016's The Life of Pablo is a culmination of everything Kanye has produced since the college dropout. It's a gospel song like Jesus Walks, but instead of sampling an existing choir, He created his own. Like Runaway, it doesn't have a traditional structure, and it's sparse and minimal like Jesus. The choir, led by gospel artist Kirk Franklin, sounds like it's recorded in a church, even though it's probably in a pretty small studio. They sound close, they sound far, they sound loud, they sound quiet. At 4.20, they're right in your ear. By 4.25, they sound distant. But But right where you expect him to rap, he doesn't. He passes the mic to Chance the Rapper, whose voice matches the emotion of the song so perfectly, it's instantly clear why. This is my part, nobody else speak. This is my part, nobody else speak. This little light of mine, glory be to God, yeah. I'ma make sure that they go where they can't go. If they don't want to ride, I'ma still give them raincoats. Know what God said when he made the first rainbow? Just know to set the end of fucking play for the intro, uh. Kanye West started his career as a producer known basically for one thing, those pitched up vocals. Almost nobody would put him at the top of a list of best rapper alive, but ever since his decision to rap with his jaw wired shut, he's used the human voice as his weapon to bring hip hop into a completely new space. And he's still looking for the edge of where he can push the human voice. <laughs> 